Weather, Air and Water, Part 2 Water Impurities in Water Water in wells, rivers and of our taps is not clean and pure. It may contain dissolved salts, matters such as dust, debris and waste product. Impurities in water can be soluble, insoluble and disease causing germs. Waterborne diseases are cholera, diarrhea, typhoid, tapeworm, infections and dysentery. Purification of water. Sedimentation. Water is allowed to stand undisturbed in a container. Insoluble impurities such as sand, mud and grift are suspended in water, settled down as a layer. This layer of insoluble impurities is called sediment. Alum. Sedimentation is a very slow process. Alum is a substance that we use to make the process of sedimentation. Loading. A small amount of alum is added into water. Alum particles get attached to the suspended impurities to make them heavier. This process is called loading. Decantation. Decantation is the process of gently pouring clear liquid into another beaker without disturbing the sediments. Filtration. The process by which very fine insoluble solids can be separated from a liquid solid mixture by passing it through a suitable porous material like filter paper. This liquid obtained after filtration is called filtrate. Boiling. Soluble substances such as salt and sugar can be easily separated from water by the process of boiling. The solution of salt or sugar is allowed to boil till water changes into vapor. Once the water changes to vapor, salt or sugar crystals are left behind. Distillation. Distillation is the separation of constituents of a liquid mixture by vaporization and then again condensing the vapor into liquid. It involves a change of state from liquid to vapor and again to liquid. It is an effective method for making water safe for drinking. Chlorine gas can be passed through water or chlorine tablets can be added to impure water to make it pure. Save water, save lives. We should not waste water by letting taps drip. Water used in kitchens for washing fruits and vegetables can be reused for watering plants. We should avoid draining water unnecessarily when cleaning cars, balconies, kitchen, etc. Taps should not be left running while brushing or shaving. Drinking water should be stored in clean and covered containers. While taking bath, it is better to use a bucket and a mug. Water supply. Water from river pass through several processes before it reaches our homes through a network of pipelines. Every city has a water network department where water is collected from water bodies and is treated and then distributed to our home. Water is collected in a large reservoirs where sedimentation and decantation take place to let impurities settle down. After sedimentation and decantation, water is passed through the filtration plant to remove all insoluble impurities. After chlorination, water is stored in a huge water tanks and distributed to our homes through a network of pipes. Filtered water is then chlorinated to kill germs. Let's recall, 
there are two kinds of impurities found in water soluble and insoluble insoluble impurities can be removed from water by using any of these processes sedimentation decantation or filtration loading with alum can speed up the process of sedimentation boiling and distillation can be used to remove soluble impurities drinking water is also potable water we can make water fit for drinking by boiling and using chemicals water goes through several processes before it reaches our homes through a network of pipelines we should use water wisely and not waste it thank you